Let's say you found the perfect video for your holiday window projection. However, when you try to project it through the window, it looks like this. But you were hoping for something more like this. Well, today I'm going to show you how to fix all of these problems in a free video editor called HitFilm Express from FX Home. And by the way, all the links will be in the description down below. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start F, uh, HitFilm Express. And once it's up, uh, we'll go ahead to, to the upper left-hand corner and we're gonna click on the new button. Now, as you'll see here in a minute, we're actually gonna change the settings to match whatever video we're editing. So I really don't care what these settings are. We're just gonna click okay. Now we're in HitFilm Express, uh, not uh, very obvious what might be going on right now uh, and that's mostly because we don't have any videos in here in order to edit it is a video editor uh, so let's go ahead and get one in uh, make sure you're over here on the media tab and click the import button now i've got a few items out here we're going to use later on but for right now we just want our main video and this is from atmos fx uh, it is one of the uh, uh, one of their haunted mansion or scary manor sort of videos uh, so i'm going to go ahead and click on this and uh, click open and it's going to bring it in here now all of a sudden this window over here is turned dark and that's because this is our trimmer and it lets us kind of cut sections out of the videos that we bring inside. Uh, this area over here is to view what's going on in the timeline. Right now there's nothing over here, so there's really nothing to view. But if we uh, come over here to the trimmer and if I uh, hold down my left mouse button and kind of grab that little dot and slide it over, we can start seeing our video. Oh, really cool. She turns to a scary uh, lady there. And then we come along here and it's like, oh, okay, here's the second scene, right? You know, I really don't want the second scene. I, I just want the one where she comes in and, uh, you know, looks in the mirror and then and turns to a scary lady. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll this little uh, uh, little dot over until the chair appears. And we're going to back up until the chair is no longer there. Right there, I think it is. So that's kind of the end of the first scene, basically. So I only want the first part of this video. I went from the very beginning to that where that little dot's sitting right now. And the way you do that in the trimmer is you come over here and you set your in and out points. Now the in point is already kind of set for us because it's the very beginning of the video. If I wanted the video to start here, I would click that little button and that would set it our in point. But instead I want to set the out point. Uh, I could also press O, by the way, uh, and what that's going to do is going to end the video right here. So I'm going to press the out point button, and you notice the little orange part of this line has shortened now, and now ends right there where my little dot is sitting. So now we can bring our video into the timeline. So I'm going to hold down my left mouse button over anywhere in the video, and I'm going to drag it down here, and I'm going to put it on the line video one. Now you don't want it over here somewhere, you want to get it at the very beginning, and when you get even close, it's going to snap you over there to the beginning, so that's perfect. So just let go right there, and it's going to pop up this box. Now it may not if the settings that uh, you picked at the very beginning just happen to match the video you're editing, uh, but if it does pop up, you typically want to say yes here for this sort of thing, because we want our resulting video to exactly match our beginning video so we're gonna say yes okay so now we've got our video in the timeline uh, now if I come over here and I hold down my left mouse button and move this little bar across it's very similar to the trimmer we see actually what's kind of going on in our video uh, but this section the timeline and this window the viewer is where we're actually going to edit our video so the uh, first thing I want to do though is I want to kind of zoom in uh, because uh, this is a little bit hard to see because we're going to do a few uh, things here. Uh, so I'm going to come down here to this little uh, bar and there's another dot. And you notice we've got two little mountains here, a little small mountain right and a little big mountain. Uh, you can press those as little buttons and it will uh, expand out over here. You can also grab that little dot and slide it left and right in order to make the timeline view 
bigger or smaller. Now, this does not change the way the video plays or anything like that. This is just the view of the video for us as we edit it. But I think that's a pretty good size right there. We can see everything and it's pretty large. Uh, so now we can kind of like, uh, you know, go through our video and see how it looks. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and press the play button here. By the way, you can also press space bar. Uh, you notice when it pops up those little hints, there's usually like a little key uh, that you could also press to do the same thing. Oh, it fades in with the, uh, you know, spooky uh, sound effects here. No, and she walks in and everything. Uh, and that looks, that's looking good. Uh, and let's kind of come over here after she turns into the scary lady and see how it goes from there. Oh, okay. Well... It ends kind of suddenly, uh, both the video and the sound, and that's not exactly what we want. That's, that's not going to look very uh, professional when we play it through our windows here. So we need to fix those problems. And the way I'm going to fix that is I'm going to fade to black, and I'm also going to fade the audio. Uh, and so in order to do that, I need to add an effect uh, that's going to do the fade. And so I want to come over here to this tab right next to media is effects and I'm going to search for the word fade, F-A-D-E. Now we've got a couple of them down here. One is audio and one is video and we're going to use both. And so uh, on the video we need to do a fade to color. And the way you do this is you uh, make sure your mouse is over fade to color, hold down the left mouse button and we're going to drag it to either the beginning or the end of the video. Now in this case our video fades in great so I'm just worried about the end. Uh, you notice how we have this little green box here by the way that's showing up when we get close to the beginning of the end. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let go there. And what that's gonna do is gonna fade our video out so our mirror just doesn't suddenly disappear you know, it has a nice fade to black. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing for uh, our audio. So I'm gonna come over here to effects again and I'm gonna to go to audio transitions and we're gonna select fade and I'm gonna drag this down to the audio section at the end. It works exactly the same way. You either have to be at the beginning for fade or at the end. And of course, I want this one at the end. There we go. Uh, and so now we're gonna have a fade on both the video and the audio. Oh, well, pretty cool. Okay, so we kind of got that part fixed. So that's great, and if all we wanted to do was kind of cut the section out of this video and just use the first part, we are basically done. Uh, but uh, we've got another problem. Uh, let's say that whenever we actually project this through our real window in the front of our house, uh, we have a big wooden bar that runs right through the middle like a lot of windows do, uh, and most of the glass parts on the left or on the right, but uh, that's not uh, what we see. We see that mostly that big bar, and unfortunately the mirror and the lady and, and everything's right in the middle of the big bar. So we've really got to fix that. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to move our video around. Uh, now we can actually move it right here in the video editor, uh, but the reason why I don't want to do that is because you're going to find out that we have lots of uh, issues that crop up uh, if we try to do it right here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get fancy, uh, uh, like uh, video effects editors and we are going to make a composite shot okay uh, so the way you do that is we're going to come down here to the timeline where we have our video and I want to make sure it's selected so I'm going to click on it and it turns orange uh, and then I'm going to right click come up here to make composite shot I could also press Control M by the way and it's going to pop up this little box now do not change these settings i want a uh, selected clip and leave here both uh, highlighted just like that so don't change anything just click okay oh well what happened well our screen kind of went blank again here uh, now all it's done is it's created a new tab over here and by the way the editor is still over here and our composite shot tab is also right over here so we can just switch between the two just like that so don't panic it's okay uh let's come back over to the media tab over here uh, and i'm going to import one thing we're going to need and one thing that's just to uh, show you an example so uh, that you wouldn't have to do uh, so i'm going to click on import and i'm going to bring in uh the curtain and we're going to need that uh, and then i'm going to click on import and i'm going to bring in this window image here 
And this is only to show you what our window looks like. Now, I don't know what your window looks like. I don't know what, what problems you're having working around it. So I'm going to use this as my example window. Uh, so we're going to make this video fit and work for this window. And since you'd have to use your imagination what my window might look like, uh, I'm actually going to put a window image on this video. Now, uh, when you really get ready to, you know, save it out, you would turn it off. And so you would obviously not have a, a window image on here. And of course you wouldn't add a window image anyway. Your window is in the real world. Uh, but for this example, we need to add a window image. And I'm gonna add that real quick. I'm gonna drag it in here and I'm gonna put it above our regular video. And that way it actually shows on top of our regular video. Uh, and I'm going to uh, use my mouse wheel and I'm going to scroll down so it, it uh, zooms out here. And I'm going to adjust this to fit. And the way I'm going to do that is going to grab this little corner here. And we're just going to kind of resize that so it fits. And let's just pretend that that's the way my window looks from the outside. Again, you don't have to do any of that. This is just for this example so you can see what the problems are and how to fix them. So I'm going to come over here and drop down this little uh, item here and hit scale to fit, which is going to zoom me back out again. Of course, I could have uh, scrolled my mouse wheel to zoom in and out, but uh, that automatically makes it fit the whole frame. So again, you're not going to add this window picture here. This is just for example, uh, but let's go ahead and get going. Uh, if we uh, scroll through our composite shot, you can kind of see what the biggest problem is, is that, oh, the scary face, she's like hidden all the time. Well, we, we got to fix that, okay? Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move this video over. So anything important we can see, let's say over on this left hand side. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and show you how to do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little lock icon right here on my window image. Again, you won't even have a window image, so I'm just gonna press that uh, so it can't be moved or anything. It's basically not gonna bother us anymore. Uh, and then I'm gonna just make sure that my video is selected right here. This is the actual video. And you notice how we have these little arrows with this little dot and this little, uh, little uh, blue box. By the way, the blue box, if you scroll it around in a circle, will actually rotate this video left and uh, you know uh, sideways and everything, but we don't want that. So I'm just going to uh, grab that little dot here and we are just going to move the mirror over here because that's really where the action uh, goes. And by the way, you can move it up and down. Uh, let's just kind of, you know, set it right there for, for right now and see how it looks. Uh, and I'm going to hold down my left mouse button on this little bar. We're going to just scrub through here real quick. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, and then we're going to turn around here and she's got the scary face. Uh, the problem with it is, is our scary face is kind of cut out by, by this uh, little bar right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that video back up and try to get it so we can, you know, see the, see the good stuff basically right there. Uh, so let's kind of scroll back through and see how that looks. Well, it's looking quite a bit better. You can kind of see her most of the time in the mirror. Uh, turn around, we definitely get the scary face, which is the most important part. And then, of course, it you know comes to the end. Well, that's all very cool and everything. Now, let's go back over here. It's like, uh -oh, oh, well, well, right there's a problem. It's gonna look kind of weird that she just like sudden magically appears through half of your window. Well, we need to fix that. Uh, and the way we're gonna do that is we are gonna use this curtain image. And this curtain has a uh, transparent background. This is something I found online. Uh, I'll include a link to this uh, image, uh, by the way, so you can use it if you want to. I thought the fancy look of it kind of matched this, this house here, more or less. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come over here again to media and I'm gonna find my fancy curtain, remember that I imported through the import button, uh, and I'm gonna drag it in here, but I'm gonna put it above our lady video and above below the window, okay? So that way we've kind of created a sandwich here. We've got our window on the up, upper layer, which is the, uh, you know, kind of like sits on top, and then we've got our curtain, and then we've got our video down here. Now, of course, our curtain is not in the right place, but we've got these little movie handle things, and I'm gonna move it right over here. And just make sure that you kind of cover the part where she enters in. So we need it to slightly overlap her here uh, to cover up the part that she just magically appears. 
Now this curtain is, is quite large, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out again, and the reason why I do that is because this picture is so big, the little handles to grab it and resize it are way out here, uh, but so I want to zoom out so I can see it, uh, and once I get a hold of one of these handles and hold down my left mouse button, then I can drag this, and I make it short and fat, or you know, uh, tall and skinny, I can do whatever I want to with it. I do want to kind of get that uh, top uh, little... Uh, part of the curtain in there, maybe a little bit of the bottom, a little more detail or something. Uh, and so positioned it pretty good there. Uh, again, let's go ahead and use our little zoom to scale to fit. And there we go. So let's just kind of like play the video through and make sure it works okay. Uh, oh, we need to move our curtain over because she again magically appeared there. See that black area right there? That's what we're basically trying to hide. It's gonna move it over there. Okay, and then so we've got to make sure there's no little edges, you know, our curtain is not, you know, too far over that way or anything like that. So again, this is just up to your video that you're using, whatever you're doing. And of course, you could pick something different besides the curtain to help kind of block off these problems. But, it, well, hey, I thought a curtain made a whole lot of sense here. Uh, so let's go ahead and kind of scroll through it again. Oh, uh, much better. Now she looks like this is uh, just walking in here. There happens to be one curtain partially pulled. Uh, and there we go, scary face. Great, we are in good shape here. Uh, we do have a, another problem though. Look, look how dark and blue this is. And boy, that curtain, it's kind of old fashioned, but it looks really new. We need to kind of fix that. So we're gonna again use the magic of special effects uh, and fix that. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to effects uh, and I'm going to get rid of the word fade and I'm gonna type in the word hue, H-U-E because we are looking for the hue, saturation, and lightness effect. And again, I'm going to hold down my left mouse button, and I'm not going to drag it onto the lady video. I'm going to drag it onto my curtain. So that's very important. And I'm going to let go. Now, when I do that, it's automatically expanded this, and it showed me the effects. And here's my hue, saturation, and lightness. And if I click that little triangle, it's going to unfurl this area. And I got all these different options. So this is to set the uh, to change the settings for red, for yellow, green, so on. I just want to use the master. That's fine. So I'm going to click the little arrow next to master, and we've got three settings. We've got hue shift, which is going to change the color of the overall picture. We've got saturation, and it's more or less going to turn it black and white, or or make the colors more vibrant depending on how we set it. And we also have lightness. So let's go ahead and kind of play around with these and see if we can get that curtain to fit in a little bit better. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to Hue Shift and I'm going to move over these numbers and I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and I'm just going to move left and right. So I'm going to move left and I got red and then purple and blue. And then if I move right, I'll start getting, you know, like greens and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to move it all the way over here so we get kind of a, a bluish color. So that's pretty good because you notice how blue the lady is and the mirror is, right? So I'm just trying to match this roughly, okay? Uh, just to kind of get to look a little bit better. Uh, then on saturation, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna move my mouse over these numbers. Notice how it turns those little arrows, right? So I can hold down my left mouse button and if I scroll left or right, that's gonna make it more black and white. And this is gonna make the colors more vibrant if I scroll over here to the right. Uh, I want it a little black and white, not super severe, but Something like, yeah, something like that. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, and then we have lightness over here, and that's how, you know, light or dark it is, all right? We can make it much darker. We can make it much uh, uh, brighter, all the way till it, like, it completely blows out. We certainly don't want to do that uh, because this picture is pretty dark. So, you know, I do want to crank it down uh, a little bit, kind of, again, match. I think it's looking pretty good right there. Uh, and so you notice we got these numbers in here, the negative numbers, right? For instance, negative lightness means it's going to be darker than it really is in the real world. Uh, and I've actually ended up with the saturation a little bit higher to make it a little, a little more colorful slightly. Uh, by the way, you can also type numbers in here. So if you know that you want minus 38, uh, if I double click on this, I can literally just type in anything I want, including, you know, minus 38. Okay, and just hit enter and it will take it. Uh, so there we go. So now we got our curtain matching our video, more or less. And so we are in pretty good shape here. 
Now I think we're actually about done. So what we need to do is we want to export our video. So I'm gonna come back over here to the editor and here's our video and it's probably good to do one more playthrough to you know make sure that this looks good. There we go, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to do one thing, by the way, and uh, is I'm going to come back over to our composite shot, and I'm going to unlock our window, and I'm going to turn this little eye right here off. You know how the little eye closes? That means that we no longer have our window, because remember, you're not going to put a window on here. This is to represent the window that's really in your house. Uh, and so now, come back over here to the editor, and we play through. This is what the actual video file is really going to look like. All right, once you're happy with the video, it's time to export it. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, come up here and there's a uh, viewer tab, if you notice, that's the one we've been using, but right next to it, there is an export tab. And I want you to come over here and make sure you're happy with this export preset. If you drop this down, there's a whole bunch of them, including we have a 720p here and a, a 1080p, which is one I normally use. Uh, and here's a 4K one. And you just want to make sure you export this out in a video format that your projector is going to accept. If it will only accept 720p videos, well, you need to pick something that's 720p. Uh, if it'll accept 1080p, then pick one of those. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on my 1080p settings. And we're going to come back over here to the viewer. And we're gonna go over here to the export button and you simply click on that and pick the very top item, which is to file. And it's gonna pop up this dialog and ask you, hey, where do you wanna save this thing? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save it under uh, this directory right here. And you just call your video, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna call it uh, window haunt. How about something like that? And I'm gonna hit save. Now when I do, it's going to move me over to the export tab and it's going to start the export. Now this may take a while depending on how fast your computer is. Uh, so just let it kind of chug through and finish. Once it's done, it's going to turn green and say finished. And if you want to find your video file, just in case you forgot where you put it, you just click on this link here and it will open up a window showing you the directory where it's saved at. And right there is my Windows Haunt file. And we can go ahead and we can uh, take a look at it. And that's really about it for the video. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And until I talk to you again next time, I'll see you later.